Going to and from work in rural Ohio in the fall and winter is basically, well, dark. Which means with all the pickups and SUVs I made along the way, I'm getting dazzled by headlights pretty regularly. Some people don't care, some people don't, don't pay attention. And since truck and SUV headlights are higher off the ground than me sitting in my Korean sedan, I end up getting dazzled anyway. Shouldn't there be a fix for this in 2024, the year of AI and reusable rockets? Sadly enough, there is a solution, but the US has been lagging behind Europe in this area for decades. Why? Well, regulations. While European drivers have been enjoying advanced lighting systems, American drivers have been stuck with all the technology thanks to some pretty strict federal guidelines that rarely get updated. The limitations of US headlight technology have significant safety consequences, unfortunately. Nighttime crashes have the highest death rate for both drivers and pedestrians. 52% of driver fatalities and 75% of pedestrian deaths occur after dark, despite only 25% of driving being done at night. US low beam headlights often don't provide adequate lighting at speeds above about 40 miles an hour on unlit roads. The roads I drive on mostly. But here's the good part. We're finally seeing some light at the end of the tunnel, <coughs> so to speak, especially with something called active matrix LED headlights. These aren't your regular headlights. They're like having a smart lighting system that can actually shape its beam to avoid blinding other drivers. Let's see how we go here. Back in the 60s, US regulations only allowed for basic sealed high and low beams. This meant that even luxury car makers like Mercedes had to downgrade their headlights for American models. Fast forward to 2014 and we were still playing catch up. When Audi tried to bring their laser high beam tech to the US, tech they developed for Le Mans racing, they had a wall of red tape. So what makes these new active matrix lights so special? Think of them like a cluster of smart pixels, kind of like a very basic TV screen. Instead of just switching between high and low beams, these lights can turn off individual pixels. So when there's an oncoming car, the system only dims the exact part of the beam that would blind the other driver, keeping the rest of the road brightly lit. European vehicles are equipped with Advanced Adaptive Driving Beam Headlight Technology, or ADB, which is not currently allowed in the US due to federal regulations. ADB continuously adjusts high beams to adapt their beam patterns. It improves illumination without causing glare to other drivers and increases roadway lighting by up to 86% compared to US low beam headlights. Whereas US headlight limitations are restricted to two lighting modes, low beam and high beams. Automatic switching is available between high and low beams in newer vehicles, but it's less effective than ADB. The good news? In 2022, US regulators finally gave these smart headlights the green light, though with some extra strict requirements. Companies like Magna are now developing different versions of these lights, from basic 48 pixel systems for everyday cars, to fancy 16K resolution versions that can do quite a few other tricks. So when will we actually see these in US roads? Well, the testing is nearly complete and manufacturers are getting ready to roll them out. Within a couple of years, nighttime driving in America should be getting a whole lot brighter and safer. Yay, technology! So that's another one in the can. If you find this video interesting or informative, please consider liking and subscribing. And remember, be excellent to each other.